dip it in a little bit of vinegar. Anyway, not really I'm sure. Terrified. Ready? Ready? Cheers. 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 What's up, guys? My name is Amanda. My name is Emily. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today, Today. <laughs> we are traveling during a pandemic. <laughs> we are at the Miami International Airport because we are going bluefin tuna fishing in Boston, Massachusetts. It's Sunday morning, it's 7 a.m. We woke up at, what time did we get up, Amanda? We woke up at 5.30. Yes, we woke up at 5.30 this morning and we left our apartment at 6.30 to be here, ready to go to Boston. This is our episode one of our series that we're putting together of our entire Boston trip. We're gonna be going bluefin tuna fishing, striper bass fishing. We're gonna explore the city of Boston. We're gonna take you along with us on this journey. This is day one in the airport during a pandemic. I got my hand sanitizer. Where's my hand sanitizer? Bath and Body Works Sweet, Sweet pee. pee hand sanitizer. I got my buff. I have some regular face masks as well. I have been wearing my buff, guys. Don't worry, I've been cautious. But I wanted to stop and take a minute and talk to you because I really didn't want you guys to only see my eyeballs. I feel like we need to see all of it and be part of this journey with us. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We will see you, I don't know, on the plane when we I land. I asked an ad. So our flight was originally at like one o'clock in the afternoon. We we're supposed to get to Boston at like five o'clock in the evening because we're not fishing until Monday morning. But um, with everything going on with COVID, our flight kept getting changed and they ended up putting us on the 8 a.m. flight and I think that's because not enough people are traveling. So our flight time changed like three times on the arrival and even going home our flight time has changed like three times. Our seats have changed like twice. Um, we went and checked the day we're like, can we sit together? And thankfully they got us sitting together so we're appreciative of that. But um, in order to travel, just so you guys know, to go to Boston, we had to get a negative COVID test. Mm -hmm. So on Thursday morning we went and got COVID tested, which was not as bad as I say it is, but it wasn't very enjoyable. We had to get COVID tested and we had to fill out a Boston travel form mm -hmm. and submit that. I made copies of everything and printed it all. So traveling is no longer book a plane and go. It's get COVID tested, fill out a travel form, wear your buff, bring your hand sanitizer and hope that people don't stare at you for talking to a camera. Boston. We made it guys. The plane ride was a little different. This time, instead of coming by with the cart with all the drinks, when you got on you got like a little goodie bag with like a small water bottle and some cookies and, and napkins hand and hand sanitizer. So we're in Boston. We're waiting for our luggage. So far, nobody stopped us and asked us to see our negative COVID tests or our Boston travel paperwork that we were told we had to fill out. Not really sure why that hasn't happened, but there are social distancing signs all over the floor and on the seats and no, nobody's stopping us yet. You have to wear a face mask to get into your Uber. So we're gonna be doing that to get to our hotel. We're early, our hotel's not even, I don't think people can check in yet, but we're probably just gonna go drop our bags off and go get some lunch somewhere. We made it to the city of Boston, guys. We're finally here. It feels good to be outside and not indoors in an airport with a mask on. I feel like we can breathe. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna show you the water because the water's right over there. And then we're gonna go to a restaurant that was recommended to us by one of our YouTube subscribers. We are going to be eating at a place called Neptune's, which one of our subscribers actually recommended. His name was TP. That was his username or something. <laughs> but thank you so much for the suggestion. We are gonna go eat there. Apparently we're supposed to get the lobster roll. We'll look at the menu, see what there is. It's less than a half mile walk from our hotel. So we're gonna go get some food, check out the local Boston area, and we're just gonna bring you guys along with us. This here, is the closest marina to where we are staying. So we wanted to come check it out. 
see what's going on. I think tomorrow we're going to get some really good shots of the water, see some open water tomorrow. Yes, so something cool about tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow we are, is going to be a commercial fishing day. So basically whatever we catch, we get to keep and weigh it and see how much it costs in the commercial world. Per pound. Per pound. So I don't know how much that's going to I have no idea what this, this is. This is going to be really epic. I'm really excited. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's style of fishing is Wicked Tuna style fishing. So we're going to be getting the whole Wicked Tuna experience. And all of this is so new for us that we're taking you guys along with us on the ride. But honestly, I'm not even sure what's happening. This is all new. Blue Tuna fishing is brand new. Wicked Tuna style fishing is brand new. This is my first time in Boston. It's her, how many times? Third. She's been to Boston quite a few times. I have. We actually we do don't do everything lives. together. <laughs> we just made a pit stop. Made a pit stop because we were walking around. Hold on, we're gonna cross the street. Okay, we're gonna cross the street. <laughs> and we wanted to get a coffee, but it is decaf coffee, just because I like my coffee taste, but I don't need the caffeine. If not, I, my heart starts racing and I bounce off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Bounce Very off the walls. We bounce off the walls. So let's talk about how you're the directional leader. Yes. Okay. So between the two of us, Emily is directionally challenged. <laughs> let's just be real. So I'm the one. But hold on. Let's let's just say not on the water. This not is on only water. on the street. This streets. is like on the, in the car. Like she's probably been somewhere a hundred times. Like and she, and I'll be next to her and she'll be going the wrong way. Like it, nothing against you, Cincy. I love you. But. <laughs> I, I'm the one with the map. Hey. I'm in charge of the directions. I'm getting us there safely. Yes, that's and very true. Emily's going to Boston Airport like three times today. And I was like, which way to, to go to the Uber? And she was like, I don't know. I was like, I'll take us there. <laughs> well, we got a little oh. thing. We're walking. Okay. We're walking. So, but you put me 30 miles offshore in a compass, I'll get us home. She'll get us home, but put her in a car and <laughs> forget it. That's today's twin trick, guys. Guys, guys, Amanda just made us order raw, raw clams. clams. So I didn't know that you could eat clams raw. I always thought that you ate oysters raw, but clams always had to be cooked. Well, they gave you this little card for all the raw like seafood you could pick, and I was like, oh, let's just get some clams that can be cooked. And she's like, no, it's raw. So we're ordering two clams to taste, because we're in Boston, and why not? And then we also ordered fish and chips to play it safe and fill our tummies. We are going to be saving a day of this trip to literally do an Explorer Boston day. So we're gonna explore the city, take you guys with us. We've already posted our Instagram story for some recommendations and we've gotten quite a few, so I'm pretty excited to take the time and we're gonna do that. So this video is our, we've arrived, welcome to our series. And then we're going to go fishing for a few days and then we're gonna have a travel vlog at the end of this whole thing. So I'm really excited to sh take you guys with us and explore the city. Wait, wait, let's squeeze a little squeeze lemon, lemon first. <laughs> Make sure you get a lot of lemon. All lemon. Squeeze, All squeeze, lemon. squeeze. So what is this? She said it was like vinegar. It's like a vinegar. Okay. Vinegar's not bad. No, it's like vinegar dressing. It's like, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. We know you're supposed it? to like eat it from the shell. No, she said you use the fork. Oh, you That's do. That's an oyster. I'm not sure. I'm going to dip it in a little bit of vinegar. Like, not really I'm sure. Terrified. Ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Not yeah. horrible. It was more of a texture thing. And it was kind of salty, like almost like salt water salty. I, I don't I don't think I get the whole like get a whole plate and eat a bunch, but I'm glad I tried it. The flavor I actually enjoyed. Like I liked the, the lemon. The lemon with the vinegar and the salt. I actually liked the flavor. Texture was okay, but aftertaste, strong. I couldn't I didn't like the aftertaste. So glad I tried it. Won't order it again. But gotta be adventurous. <laughs> In true fashion, we decided to get fish and chips. The because, tummy filler. Tummy filler because we are in Boston. So we are gonna share some fish and chips. Our Taste YouTube it. subscriber, TP, recommended we get the lobster roll. I looked at it, not really my thing. I was going for the fish and chips instead. Wanna give it a it. taste, Amanda? It's, I feel like it's gonna be really hot. Let's find out. What does the sauce taste like? I don't know. Taste the sauce. sauce is it. It's probably some type of tartar sauce. I think it's good. Different. It's a different tartar sauce, so it's very um light and almost like vinegary in a good way though. Hot, right? Hot. <laughs> but really good. Really tasty. Really like it. 10 out of 10 recommend. 
that food was delicious. So thank you for the suggestion, Neptunes. It was so yummy. I got tried raw clams for the first <laughs> time and went way outside my box. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video watching us travel during a pandemic. The last thing we want to do is let COVID stop us from doing things that we want to do in the world like bluefin tuna fishing. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a whole series on this week, bluefin tuna fishing, commercial style, charter style, maybe sharper bass fishing, doing it all. Stay tuned for episode two, bluefin tuna fishing. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.